again everyone. I'm here today with another Chic Sparrow unboxing. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get in here and then tell you a little bit more about it after I've opened it up. So let's go ahead and take it out of its packaging here. I'm going to take it out of this as well. And let's see another one of these little cute bird stickers. I'm going to put that off into my little stash of bird stickers. And I'm not going to go into anything else in there. So this is a B6 Slim. And it was one that I had to special order. So it's in the realm of things that can be special ordered, which is really only one thing. And that is the monogrammed TNs. So let me show you and then I'll explain more. So here we go. And you'll notice that it has no monogram. <laughs> So one of the options on the monogram listing, which I will put down below, a link to down below, is that you can have it be no stain, so this is a nude leather, and have no monogram. So you basically say none when it goes into the list of letters that you could possibly monogram. So I did that so that I could have a nude B6 Slim notebook in deluxe and so this is completely undyed uh, and it should uh, develop a patina over time. I have not uh, dealt with any leather like this from Chic Sparrow except for my undyed, uh, did I get the Cheyenne tote? Yeah, I got the Cheyenne tote in their undyed leather and I haven't been using it very much just because I don't have a lot of places to be where I would need a bigger bag right now. Um, so it's still in my closet and it hasn't really patinaed yet. So I don't know what, what this is going to look like once it patinas more, but I'm looking forward to that. I do have some other notebooks to compare it to. So I have a couple of monogram TNs with specific stains on them. I'm not comparing it to all of my hand tooled notebooks, which is what the monograms normally are. Uh, I'm not going to compare it to those because I, I honestly do not know what stain was used. So I'm only showing you notebooks where I know what stain they were used and were ordered from the same uh, type of ordering place for the monogram ones. So I have two here. One that I've shown on the channel before and I will link to the unboxing of this monogram. Monogram M notebook and this is Saddle Tan. And then this one I bought off of a buy sell trade group. It was sold as second chance. I think there may have been some issue with it somewhere. I, I don't, I can't really tell what it was. Maybe something in the lettering. This was uh, sold to me, like I said, on a BST as a second chance notebook, but this is the mahogany color. So this is mahogany, which looks very pink. So that I, I wanted to show you that as well because um, you might not necessarily think that when you see it. And this has raw edges. I'm not sure if that's just because it was second chance, but this one has raw edges. This one has uh, essentially raw edges, but they have been burnished in some way. And then this looks like they've been burnished a little bit as well. But obviously there's a big <laughs> difference in the colors here. So if you want something that is in one of these stains, but is not monogrammed, with any kind of letter, you can order it and just say, when it asks you, asks you what letter, you just say none in the drop down. So I actually did not know this either until fairly recently and some people on the Chic Sparrow 2.0 group on Facebook mentioned it and I actually used my, um, my coupon that I had from getting enough points to purchase most of this or to pay for most of this notebook. So that's what I got with that because I figured this would be kind of unique and I think that this, they used to sell notebooks made in this leather, and I think it was called the Patina line. Don't hold me to that though. If any of you know and are watching, let me know in the comments down below. I think that's right, but, but I, I'm not 100% certain. So my question here on the, on the band is what, should I just leave it dark? I mean, I know this will darken. So um, I'm wondering if I should just leave this dark brown band or if I should try and find something else to go with it. I think all bets are off. You could pick whatever color band you wanted 
on here. Um, but I'll have to think about that. It's, it's not available in the Cascade model, which has kind of become my favorite, uh, but, it but it is in deluxe, and so you could use this as a deluxe notebook. And, and it's, I think it's so interesting to see the undyed state of this leather. It's really, really cool. And like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing some patina on this. I have so many V6 Slim notebooks that I, I rotate so often that they don't really have a chance to get a super strong patina on them <laughs> before I switch to something else. But I do end up making my way around eventually <laughs> to earlier ones. So these are all those, and I did also want to compare it to buttered rum. So this is what I'm still in for my everyday carry. It's this buttered rum cascade that was available for a very limited time. I, I know that buttered rum is supposed to come back sometime in 2021, I believe, but I don't know the timing and you know I defer to Chic Sparrow on that. But supposedly it is gonna be coming back at some point. But I wanted to compare this one which is brand spanking new right out of the bag, no, no patina on it at all, with this slightly patinaed buttered rum. This has actually darkened quite fast. If you can see here, I'd say this is more the color it was when I got it, sort of this lighter color here on the pen loop. And as you can see, it's gotten quite a bit darker. And it's got a little bit of scratch here and there, scratches here and there. Um, but I've been really loving it. And it's been really hard for me to get out of it into another one, which is why I'm still here. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. I mean, I guess it's good that you don't want to go out of it, right? But I have so many others that I love as much as this, probably, if I would use them. So there you go. So that's the nude compared to a slightly patinaed buttered rum. And then, like I said, this is the saddle tan in the monogram and then this is the mahogany in the the monogram and as you can see this is what i ended up settling on at least at least for now because it's still early I, I it's it's not 2021 yet although i'm kind of wishing every day that 2021 would get here faster and faster um, <laughs> uh, so i decided to use this as my uh, gratitude journal for 2021 put it in here. It's It still has sort of a pink shade. I had this in the um, Duchess before. I decided that I wanted something a little more sturdy since it's going to be used all year round. Uh, and then I put my Sailor Pro Gear Mini in the blush pink in there to go with that. So I'm going kind of with a pink theme. It's not exactly matching, but you know, they all kind of color coordinate there. And it has this lovely sort of like... Um, mauve mauve pinkish little thing here so that's kind of what i wanted to go with for that it's a little bookmark okay so i'm going to put this one off to the side this one off to the side let's put my everyday carry b6 slim off to the side um so okay let me open this up and we can get a little bit of a better look here i mean there's not much to look at because it is pretty much just a nude leather at this point I will, uh, at some, like I said, I will at some point move into this. I have so many different purposes for B6 Slim notebooks, so I may not end up using it as my everyday carry. I may use it for other things, but uh, either way, I think this is a really pretty notebook. And now you know that this is an option on the uh, hand-tooled monogram. Like I said, I'll put a link to that below, and I will put a link below to my unboxing of this guy, and then I will also put a link below to my gratitude journal setup for next year. I'll put a link to that video below as well. Um, I won't put a link to the buttered rum and all of that just because, you know, you, you can't get the buttered rum right now. So <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. And then let's take a quick look at the inside. Yeah, there's not much character to this leather at all, really. I mean, there's a few little streaks here, but that's about it. All right, we'll see if some more comes out as it patinas. All right, so that's it for today. Feel free to subscribe so you can keep track of future videos on my channel. And I hope to see you there. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.